Hello. Sorry, one sec. I haven't sorted out my windows. One sec, sorry. Um, is this one? Yes. All right. Um, that like this. The reference isn't really a reference today. It's just some eye candy. Um, firstly, can everyone see me okay and hear me okay? Um, I'm just trying to sort out the camera. Martin did this for me earlier because I was otherwise occupied. I was in the bathroom. Um, let's see who's here. Katie, hi Katie. Joining from your hotel room. Um, Giggles, hi Giggles, that's a fun name. Uh, recently started following, can't stop binge watching my videos. Oh. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad you like them. Hi, Anne's. Anne's. Said that really strangely. <laughs> Hi, Anne's. Hi, EJ. Hi, Helen. Hi, um, oh my gosh. It's a different alphabet. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. But hi, um, just under Helen. How do I pronounce that? Hi, Mandy. Hi, Morel. M Maria. <sighs> Uh, guys, I'm too tired today to, for names. Megan, that's a nice easy one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm too tired for names. I'm surprised I'm even streaming, to be honest. Mir 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 Muriel. 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 Mir. That's what you mir. Alright, um, so today we're not doing anything crazy. Oh, Elena. Elena. Hi. Thank you. Thanks for the pronunciation help. Um, so yeah, today we're not doing landscapes or we're not doing, what do we normally do? We're not doing animals, well, I mean we could be doing animals, who knows? We're not doing anything intense, we're just catching up on the 100 day project. So I'm so far behind the 100 day project, I basically should quit, but I'm not going to. Because I am determined to have my wardrobe filled with little pictures like you see on this reference um image here uh right now i'm looking at them they are falling off the blue tack is not doing its job they they fell off the wall and i thought it was just because the, it was glossy so i stuck them on the wardrobe they're still falling off so it's fine um i'm just gonna keep on doing it maybe i'll just take them off and try and put them somewhere else i don't know maybe like uh, maybe i'll get a cork board like, like a few huge cork boards and put those on the wall but um, yeah, Re Renate, Renate from Vienna, hi, or is it Renat, Renate? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be catching up on the 100 day project. So for that, I'm doing these little portraits. These are three that I've, I just did yesterday, I think the day before, I can't remember. One's the sun, one's the moon, like this. And then I also did this cute cat. So, um, I just want to hide, I just want to hide something quickly. I want to show you something, but I got to hide. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you know where I work, I guess, but 
I don't really want to show up on my work. So at work, um, I had to go to London last Friday for an away day and I doodled cats like half the day. So that's one of them, one page. And then these are more and a, a random pig in there. Um, and I basically just doodled them while people were talking or while we had to do like exercises. Um, this is the first page. <laughs> yeah. So I was just doodling cats and I wanted to do those doodles. So I made this one. I really love him. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be doing more. This is just to test out the white balance. But I also have it here in case you want to. Sometimes I do a pre-doodle doodle. So I'll show you an example. I have one over here. So for the wizard, I actually doodled this little guy first. And then I did the doodle of the wizard. Which, uh, yeah, it's a little bit extra, but that's fine. So I thought it'd be fun if you guys maybe shout out some things to draw. So, so far I have like animals and a couple of people. And I have a sun and a moon as well. So really it could be anything, I don't mind. All, it, all I'm doing is I'm making sure that it's like a little portrait and that it has a frame. So like these frames are really simple. Some of the frames have done little patterns on them. This frame, it looks like I even forgot to do a decoration. It's fine. So yeah, I thought that would be fun. So give me some ideas what I can draw and then we can just do some doodling and I will start sharpening my pencils while you guys are thinking. And also guys, let me know how you are. Oh, this pencil sharpen doesn't work very well. Hmm. Let me see if I have my pencil case in here. And we went out at the weekend. Actually went out with Katie, who's in the chat. And I took some art supplies with me just in case. But I didn't actually end up drawing because it rained the whole day. So I have my sketchbook in there, my pencil case. I have an extra pair of socks. Always gonna have an extra pair of socks. And then this is the mat that, like a fold out mat that you can sit on on the floor. Okay, cool. So we're getting some ideas now. Let me write them down before the chat disappears. Oh my gosh, I love the idea of a pug. A crab. Yeah, people always suggest to draw sea creatures, but I don't really like drawing sea creatures. Okay, so we have a sheep, a goat. I love the idea of a goat. That's such a fun idea. Um, a bear, baby bear. Love that. I love bears so much. Do I have a... I don't think I have a bear yet, actually. I don't. That can, oh, no, I do have a bear. I do. It's like a little guy in a bear costume. Um, a crab. We'll try. A pug. Um, a fox. I do have a fox, so I might leave that one. A crocodile. I do have an alligator or a crocodile, so I'll leave that one too. Um, a, a sheep. Oh, a librarian. A capybara. Nice. Capybara librarian. Okay. What's in my pencil case? This is to go out sketching. Um, okay, so I have like all of my supplies here. Oh wow, do you see that? Do you see the light there? I think it's set to auto. Well, it went really bright. Okay, if it goes crazy bright and we can't see anything, let me know. Because sometimes I don't look at the screen. Yeah, so right now I have all of these art supplies here. Oh my gosh, it's on auto brightness. Let me just fix that quickly, because otherwise it's going to be too bright. Oh, should we just leave it? It'll calm down in a minute. I think it's just because I have this here. Yeah, see? See, it's going brighter when I put something dark in. Okay, I'll just, I'll, I'm just going to fix it real quick, okay? All right, I fixed it. Okay, we've got a snail, I love that. And a swan, I saw a lovely swan. We saw a lovely swan actually on our walk, didn't we, Katie? A lima, ooh, a lima. Don't think I've ever drawn a lima or an armadillo. 
Does it, did anyone live in the UK in the 90s and remember the dime bar or the dame bar? The, um, just like, like an armadillo. It was like opposite of an armadillo. Soft on the outside, crunchy on the inside. All right, cool. So these are all of the supplies that I'm using for this challenge, as well as these, which I've already pre-inked. They're already, they're already inked. So it's kind of like pinks and greens mainly. I have found some difficulty with the colors. Like I have found it quite a challenge, but I'm gonna try and stick to it. So I have these markers, which I don't use much because the ink gives such a strong background. I just added this in recently as an extra. And then there's, this is just an extra as well. Then there's some pencils like reds, greens, a couple of yellows. They're mostly kind of greens and pinks. And then the neo colors kind of match. I think I actually even have a page here where I tried the colors out. Yeah, here we go. So these are all of the colors. So it's kind of like pinks and reds, um, greens, and then a couple of darker blues and some yellow. It's kind of a mix. And this is my little alligator doodle that I was doing for the alligator. He's going to work. He's got a coffee and he's heading to work. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, what was in my pencil case? So this is, so this is my, in my pencil case when, when we went out. I didn't use any of it. I literally just grabbed whatever. And I swear to you guys, it was so wet that day. These, I can feel these pencils, like this is damp right now. <laughs> feel how wet they are. I just grabbed a few colors. I grabbed heaps of pinks. Some I'm enjoying pinks right now and a gray. And then I grabbed a couple of colors to like, I always try and grab lighter colors and darker colors that will complement these. I think of these as almost like mid. I don't know. Um, so I grabbed like some more darker reds and darker greens. And then a couple of light, like pinks and blues. So that was what was in my pencil case, although we never used it. All right, should we get on with it? What should we do first? I think something easy, maybe the capybara, I think would be fun. Or the baby bear, let's do the baby bear. All right, I actually have heaps and heaps of sketches of bears. I don't know if they're in this here, they're not. It's camels. I haven't used a sketch with much actually. So let's just doodle a bear. Maybe we'll do the doodles first. Or maybe we'll just doodle them. Okay, we'll do them doodle them now. Can you tell it's been a while since I've streamed? <laughs> Hi Artie. Um, alright, cool. So baby bear. What should the baby bear be doing? I'll show you should I show you the bear that I have now? Don't think you can see it. You can't see it on this picture. I hadn't drawn it at that time. I'm trying to draw just like on here without drawing something first, but when I'm being filmed, it's a little bit nerve, nervous making. So I'm gonna draw baby bear. Um, baby bear, what does a bear look like? Okay, maybe the bear can be eating an ice cream. I don't think I have that yet. Okay, cool. I've been drawing a lot of bears recently um, for the book that I'm like illustrating the book that I'm trying to write. So this shouldn't be too hard, but <laughs> you never know. I think I always draw the ice creams covering the face. What does a bear look like? It's got a big old nose, like this. <laughs> it's like cross-eyed, a cross-eyed bear. Um, yeah, so last, those, tonight Martin and I had dinner. We had dinner right before, we had dinner right before um, I came on stream. And the other night we bought some ice creams, but we bought like um, two packs of three. So there's six ice creams. And Martin didn't have one of the ice creams. Like he, we were both gonna have it, but he was off playing games or something. So he didn't have his ice cream. So tonight there was only one left. So he had his ice cream after dinner and I just crocheted, which is probably why I've got ice cream on my mind right now. So maybe the bear is like looking at the ice cream like this and he's like gone a little bit cross-eyed because he's trying to get the ice cream in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fun. What do you think? Is that fun? 
and we'll have it like dripping off the side like this. I think that's cute. Uh, Katie, oh, Katie's here, Artie's here, everyone's talking. I've lost tears of the days. Tears of the days. Oh, you've lost track, lost track of the days. I have been so busy this, the last couple of weeks. Um, and like not busy with work. I have just been busy with seeing people and it's been really nice seeing people, but I'm not like a very sociable person and it's really taken out of me. I saw, so I went to work, I went, so the week before last I saw, I met up with my, my sister came to, to stay, my mum came to stay. I also met up with Mandy, we did a, a drawing thing in town. And then that weekend my sister was here. Then the following week I went to London for work and then I spent two days in London with Artie, which was really lovely, but very busy. We did lots of walking, lots of talking. And then this, then literally two days later, I met up with Katie and her daughter and we did lots and lots of walking and talking and Liz came too. So when we said goodbye to Katie on, what was it Katie, on Tuesday night, I was dead. Um, all day, on yesterday, on Wednesday, I literally didn't talk at all. M Martin probably thought something was wrong with me. I was like, I can't talk. I can't talk anymore. So yeah, it was, um, it's been a busy week. So I'm looking forward to not seeing anyone now until April, I think Easter, when we have to go down south for Martin's mum's birthday. All right, what color should this bear be? I think I'm thinking, I'm thinking a lighter color to kind of pop against the white, or we could make him dark and then make the, the background light. Let's do that. And also guys, if you have any ideas for frames, the frame for me is always the hardest part. Like thinking of something that, something decorative for the frame. I'm gonna make this frame a chunky one so we can put lots of nice decoration on him. My, if, I don't know if you can hear my, my throat's making really weird noises. Tuesday, yes. And Katie, how, how is Scotland so far? Are you in Scotland right now? And guys, what else is everyone drawing? I feel like I haven't seen you for, I think this, I haven't seen you for three weeks, right? We haven't streamed for three weeks because I've been busy. I was busy the last couple of weeks. So let me know what have you been up to. I haven't even been on Instagram. I haven't done anything. I haven't made a YouTube video. I've been a bit absent. So let me know what you're doing, what you're drawing. Are you doing the 100 day challenge if you are? How far behind are you? I think I'm like 17 days behind. I've, I'm more days behind than I've done, basically. But I'm not really worried. I've done the 100 day challenge twice and each time I finished after 100 days. So I don't really care to be honest. Uh, Mandy's drawing a cat. Um, Mandy, I think I saw your cat that you posted on Instagram. I can't remember if it was today or yesterday. It was so cute. Is that, was that just for fun or was that also a commission? Look how different the, how much vibrant this is. Like, let me zoom. I always zoom the wrong way. Look how more vibrant the Neo color is compared to the, like this is the pencil. They're basically the same color, but look how much more pigmented this is. Isn't that crazy? That was a commission, that was so fun. I thought that was really cute. Uh, Kitty's Love in Scotland did two hikes today, Glencoe and Glynfinane. Glynfinane? How is it in comparison to the Lake District? Is it just as pretty or prettier or just nice in a different way? I don't think I've ever been that side of Scotland the way you are. Alright, um, let's think. What colour do you want the bear to be? Maybe pink? That could be fun pink bear or we could keep him the same color as this I really like doing that with the cat that was really fun the Harry Potter bridge hmm. uh, Megan says Australia Megan are you from Australia beautiful birds to draw I bet just trying to think of what to do maybe the pink 
see I do it is quite a limited color palette but it's not bad it's not like it's, it's quite nice having the what's the word um restriction I guess but at the same time sometimes I wonder if I did choose the right colors together I think I did I think these colors have gone nicely together so far I don't know what I want to do I'm just sometimes I just pick up do you ever do that just pick up like different pencils in a row try and figure out if that was the right pencil oh Megan's at a, a wedding rainbow lorikeets yeah that's cool I haven't seen one of those I still see some parakeets when I went to London I think they must have escaped from a zoo or something I think in Barcelona when I lived there there was heaps of parakeets I'm pretty sure they escaped from the zoo at the time all right let's get a darker color for the nose I'm trying to pick a picture that I've taken on this week to draw oh fun that would be a hard one you must have taken so many photos I've taken I I've taken so many photos recently of things I say I'm gonna draw um, and I was talking to Martin actually about this yesterday how I haven't actually drawn anything like I haven't um, done any art for myself for so long like just I used to just draw my sketchbook and I used to just draw whatever I felt like like I would draw landscapes one oh I was meant to do the ice cream wasn't I oh that's fine we can do the ice cream we can do it in white and that will kind of cover up um yeah I was gonna do I did I did like landscapes one day and um people another day and I, sometimes I draw birds like just whatever I wanted um and I was always like experimenting and I feel like I haven't done that much for a while like I had bird fest in January which was all birds and then even though I said I'm not gonna do any more challenges after that look at me here I am I was like this will be fun 100 day challenge just very chill like it would take 10 minutes a day they don't take 10 minutes it's a lie if anyone tells you that something will take 10 minutes I don't, don't believe them because I was telling myself it would just take 10 minutes take five minutes a day like they're so small um they don't though because <laughs> it probably takes five minutes just to figure out what colors I'm gonna do but what was I saying Oh yeah, so I was talking to Martin and I was saying that like I don't really draw for myself anymore and I wish I could draw more and I was like just sit down and draw but, and I shouldn't have done all these silly challenges. Um, so that's why that's why I've taken I've taken so many photos because I keep thinking oh, I'll draw them and then I just don't. It's really frustrating actually but it's only me doing it. I can't, it's not like I can get frustrated with other people. Okay, oh, yeah. this is like an ice cream. I just kind of I drew the arm a little bit too low down. I think this looks like an ice cream. We can make it look like an ice cream. We can put like a little flake in it. Do you guys have I don't think there's flakes in other parts of the world, just the UK, right? Does that look like an ice cream? I think so. Maybe we'll do chocolate chip. I actually don't like chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> I don't like things in my ice cream. I hate like chewy, chewy or crunchy things in my ice cream. Jamie's here. Hi, Jamie. We have flakes in Australia. I was, even as I was talking about flakes, I was thinking, I'm pretty sure I had flakes when I lived in New Zealand. Okay, he's definitely got a flake in his little hot little hands. There's cold ice cream in his hot hands. And now we gotta draw his eyes. So I think we're gonna draw his whites first. Yeah, what I really need is a really dark black, which I don't have. I need to like a really dark grey, but I didn't choose a dark grey. I just chose a blue and a green, which I think are a little bit too pigmented sometimes. <laughs> I just love silly animals. <laughs> they just make me so happy. Right, and then we'll draw this little ears. And I think to make his cheeks pop out, I've been using this, the, um, this thingy, and it kind of 
goes with the Karen Dash, but it makes it a little like makes it a little bit non more neon. It's just fun. And then I think what I'll do is like darken. I mean, that one lighten it. I'm just trying to darken the bear up a bit. Maybe we'll just add some some fur. Your animal characters always have so much personality. Thank you. Um, yeah, Jamie, I'm not sure if you were here a couple of minutes ago when I was talking about the color palette, but sometimes I feel like this color palette I chose for this challenge is a little bit limited. So that's the only thing I'm, I'm struggling with right now. But yeah, I really love making silly little characters like this. Like when I doodle, I tend to doodle I normally doodle cats if I'm just doodling something. See, I don't know if I should have done this because I kind of liked it like before, but I just didn't think it popped enough. But it's too late now, I've done it. Maybe we can go back in with this pencil and like blend it a little bit. Probably not. <laughs> it's fine. So did anyone see the vlog I put up? I think it was like last week. It was like a ridiculous one and a half hours long. I didn't realize it was gonna be that long when I, when I was making it, but it turns out I filmed a lot last month. And then this month I actually haven't filmed. I filmed a little bit when Katie came to visit and that's all I, f oh, and a little bit in London actually, but I haven't filmed anything else so far. Um, this weekend I need to do some work for for something I'm working like another project I'm working on but I also really want to do my Etsy stuff I have so much stuff to do I have um well, I have stuff from Doggist like ready to go like ready to take photos of and sell and that was in August guys so that was quite a, quite a long a long time ago um, and then obviously Burb Fest stuff, which I've almost finished editing all the scans for. I basically finished and I can just make, start making like stickers and stuff, which will be awesome. So yeah, um, hopefully I, basically I was trying to see, how, hopefully I can film some of that this weekend for this month's vlog. But I'm not going to make it as long this time. I mean, even I, I love long videos. Even I was shocked by how long that video was. Okay, um, guys, I need to do the frame now. I'm thinking dark, a dark frame. What do you guys think? Will you make a dogger scene? I probably won't make a dogger scene. Maybe I can make a homemade one, but I won't. I won't get one ordered. Like I won't order one because the zines are so expensive now. When I first did my zines about three years ago, they were quite cheap to make. Um, I could probably get, I don't actually remember the price. I don't want to say a price in case it's wrong, but they were cheap and not like really cheap, but you know, you can make a good profit on them or you could just make a little profit on them and sell them, sell them like really affordably, which is what I pretty much did. Um, and then the cost of living stuff happened like last year. Um, when I went to put, do my zine last year, I put the zine in my basket and I waited so long before I did the zine, the price had gone up. So when I actually went to do my zine, like when I went to buy it, the price had gone up by a third. So I think it was like, it must have been, I think it was 130 pound for a hundred zines, something like that. And before it was maybe, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't even, I, I, don't, I can't even remember. All I know is that it was a horrifying price. All right, I'm gonna stop now because I am just, I just keep doodling. <laughs> I just keep doodling. Stop doodling, April. How many? You have 16 to go. I can't stop, guys. Alright, I'm stopping. Uh, dark frame will make him pop. Okay, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? Wait, that's not the line. Um, I'm thinking something with circles. Let's do something with circles. I'm just looking at all the frames on my wall here. Something with circles, I think, would be fun. Oh, maybe like a little... Okay, like this. Hear me out. 
we'll do little squares in the corner this is the hardest part for me this up there and then we'll do like a wiggly woggly like this I don't know this is gonna look good but honestly it doesn't matter if it doesn't look good and someone time this and see how long it took <laughs> it's gonna take way longer than 10 minutes which is what I told myself they would take when I went to do it. Wood grain. Oh, wood grain would have been fun. Maybe we can do it on the next one. I'm kind of keeping these more geometric at the moment. And then maybe like like this, like a loop de loop. Ooh. Fun. Guys, you know what I was doing at work all day? Well, not all day, but a lot of the day. Um, I was designing a mural for work. <laughs> so I started this mural like three years ago or something. And they, it keeps being like, it keeps, they keep saying we're gonna do this mural and then we don't do it. And then it will, it will come back again like a couple of, a few months later and they'll say, no, we're definitely gonna do the mural now. But because a few months have passed, we actually need to change it. Like this isn't our branding anymore, or this isn't our, our slogan, or that's not the word of the year because the, the logo has, the mural has a whole bunch of stuff from our work, like the branding, our values, things from like the area where, where the office is, stuff like that. So a lot of stuff stays the same, but kind of small things keep changing. They keep changing their minds. It's been through about six iterations so far. So I just make the changes, you know? I just get, I just do what I get paid to do. And I'm like, it's never gonna go on the wall. <laughs> it's fine, I'll just keep making the changes. Um, but apparently now the budget has been approved. It's definitely going on the wall. I just needed a final change, some final changes, which I did today. So I was, um, I was doing this mural stuff all day. But it's not like fun like you would think, like, oh, designing a mural, how fun. Because I'm literally just making amends for the fifth time to something. Which means changing words, which means that all the images around the words need to be moved. It's gone through so many changes now, like so many Photoshop scales and zooms and like quick like fix ups that when they actually want it, I'm going to have to redraw the whole thing again in vector because they need it in vector so that's what i was doing all day what were you guys doing today my job isn't a mural designer by the way <laughs> just in case you just popped on here and you're like oh you design murals i don't i don't um i'm a motion designer which means i do like animation and videos and stuff but I don't know people seem to think at work that I enjoy doing creative stuff for work sometimes it's fun to do creative stuff at work other times you just kind of want to do something easy you know where you don't have to like you just switch your brain off and just like get on with it I was definitely gonna switch your brain off and get on with it day to day I'm not sure about this frame I've gone a bit thick with the dark, but it's cool. Also, I have been using this gold Neo color, which is pretty fun. So that could kind of make it pop a bit. Some of the frames that I've done that I've really enjoyed have been more kind of detailed, like with little triangles and stuff. So maybe we can add in a little bit more detail with a lighter Neo color here. And what's the time? We need to do 17 more. Okay, we've done, we've got 40 minutes into stream so far. So we might be here until like 3, 4 a.m. Maybe we'll turn this into my first ever 24 hour stream. Like unintentional 24 hour stream. That could be a thing. Does anyone have any plans tonight? Who's up for a 24 hour stream? Actually, no, I couldn't do 24 hours because I do have to work tomorrow. But what they don't know won't hurt them. Maybe I could take you guys to work with me. We could design murals together. Little dots along the wavy, yes. 
I like that idea. I, I was thinking of doing something with dots with the gold. I love this this pencil though on like this this is ink. Um the background is made with Holbein acrylic ink and it's so nice to draw on, like it's so smooth and buttery. Okay, where is that gold neo colour? It's around here. Oh no, I actually took it out with me the other day. So I gotta bring it back. This one. Oh, this one. It's pretty fun. <gasps> no. Look, this is what I was saying. Because I was out in the rain all it's not even going on, it's just like so soft. sharpen it and I'll show you guys my if I can find it my drawers are such a mess this is what I've been using for my my Karen dash sharpenings my neo color sharpenings um Katie says oh no don't mind Katie fine just a bit of water here this is the gold one I've already got some gold shavings in there oh la la I thought maybe we could just shave off the soggy bits so soft no that is like pure it's like so squishy That is one spacious pencil bag. One one even though I don't need any more. Pencil bag, which one? This one. I love this pencil case. I can't remember where I got it from now. It says on the side maybe. It just says fashionstationery.com. Because as you guys know, I'm very fashionable. So even my pencil bag needs to be fashionable. But when you guys think to yourself, like, who is a fashion icon? You know, when you have to tell someone, like, yeah, this is my fashion icon. I'm probably the, the first person that comes to mind, right? So, look. I don't think we're going to be using the, the gold neo colour for now. Unless. One sec. back all right here we go this is so soft i don't know if you can it's kind of hard to describe how soft it is but like i'll try and draw with it and it just smushes see how it's completely smushed the side <laughs> so funny i mean it's not funny it's annoying i wonder if i have a gold one in here though this is where i have all of my other halves I keep my other halves, don't tell Martin. Um, all of my other halves are in here. Because I used to cut them in half and put them and just use the half of them so I could use them on the side. And I'm looking and I don't see a gold. Unless, no, that's an olive green. Unless, no, that's an ochre. Okay, I don't think we have another gold. That's really annoying. <sighs> well, never mind. We have a bronze. It's not the same though. I guess that just means I get to go buy another, another some more neo colors though. It's not the worst thing in the world, right? That's definitely a green. Sometimes the gold looks like a green. It's not. Okay, that's fine. We'll just use something else. It's funny that just a day, and honestly, that wasn't even. It was just in my bag the whole day. The gold paint from Burbfest. Gold paint from Burbfest. Oh, can you use it like paint? Yeah, yeah I, I could use it like paint. I guess we could try that. These are meant to be like really quick sketches though. I wasn't really trying to use paint. Artie, I have no idea what gold paint from Burfest you mean. The acrylic wash? I think, is that what you meant? 
let's try and use it like paint because maybe this is going to be exciting for some people to see um let me have a oh jeez i think this is fairly clean All right so i think maybe some of you may have seen people do this on the youtubes oh i don't have any water oh here i have some and here's a paintbrush so let's just see if we can dissolve a little bit it's so pretty fun huh okay so we have the near color kind of painty is it I think it's gonna be a little bit too liquidy but we can give it a go I don't have a tiny paintbrush is the problem Mm, nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. And maybe I didn't get ice cream for dessert, but I get to lick paintbrushes. And that's just as good. It works. Kind of works, guys. I mean, it's not as easy as just using the, the near colour, you know but it works in a pinch. End of a paintbrush. I'm just using this one here. It's like a little filbert. It's working pretty well. So to kind of smush it a little bit. You always go back again with the pencil. I just, I didn't want this to be like a whole painting thing. I just wanted to kind of brighten up that one end because that one end was really quite dark. And then maybe we can add some, I don't know. I think I'll just add it with some, some other Neo, some other lighter colors like this, like this white or this peach. It's not really what I had in mind, but look, this is our warm-up one. It's um, it's a little warm-up bear. So I'm not actually posting these anywhere. I'm posting. I did like maybe I'll do a post where it's um, like a collection of them. I think that's fine. It's it's a little bit chunk. It's a little bit like clumsy, but I think that's fine for our first little doodle right I might tidy that up after I probably won't let's be honest I don't want to lie to you guys okay maybe that's it or maybe where's the neon pink gone neon pink hello can't there it is Maybe like something on the edge. Yeah, this is why I don't do frames on my work. <laughs> uh, it's really, it's really difficult to do frames. All right, well that's fine. That's our doodle. That's our first one. That's our doodle one, and the next one will make it nicer. Okay, so we did a baby bear eating an ice cream with a flake. Um, now maybe let's do a swan. Oh, that'll be so nice. Just like the swan neck. Maybe this really dark one here. And it's just like the beautiful swan neck. And I think we'll do a pink frame. We saw a swan it's just a single swan by itself on the lake the other um the other day and it was really nice 
I did wonder where his partner was though, because don't swans normally go in pairs? Um, okay, I'm just trying to think what a swan looks like. I'm pretty sure they look like this. Like they have like a, a thing like this, right? Like a, a swoopy neck. And then the beak goes down like this. And maybe this one can be can have a bow tie. I did this I did a little a snake like this, kind of similar. But I think you can see it on here. You can't. And sometimes I think if I just do a really simple one after doing one that's taken forever, then I'm kind of balancing that out a little bit. Someone on the sea today? On the sea? Was it like close to a beach? There's a couple of swans on the the river that I like to walk look, walk next to. Or walk along I guess um, and last spring they had I think they had four or six babies and it was really nice because you could see them grow up like every day every week they were bigger and then their little all their little gray feathers came in and then their white feathers and then they were fully grown swans and then they all kind of disappeared I guess they were left they were left their parents went off to find their own swans all right does that look like a swan should he have a bow tie on Maybe he's not going on a hot date. He's going on a hot date to find a lady swan. Okay. Just trying to think how to make. Sometimes when you do the the dark neo color. But like when you do a neo color, it's really difficult to put anything over the top of it. I have this graphite pencil, but it does make everything shiny. I also have this pencil. Maybe I'll use that one. Some people don't like the shiny parts of graphite. I don't mind though. I don't mind this too much. Does that look like a like a, like weird? It's fine. He is weird. He's a weird swan. His name is. Egbert, Egbert Finkelstein the third, and he's not much of a ladies' man. He has a really hard time finding love. I actually feel really bad for him. He's been on a few blind dates now. One of them actually was a pigeon. That was it was just three pigeons on top of each other, in a swan suit. And Egbert was like, this is a damn good looking swan. Um, but then when he got closer, he saw all the lumps and he was like, wait a minute. Is that just three pigeons on top of each other in a swan outfit? Turns out it was. He went home pretty sad that day. Pretty sad. But he's going to try again. There's plenty more swans on the lake. I mean, there's not actually, to be fair, like global warming and everything it does keep Egbert up at night thinking about it like what if he never finds his swan mate will he just be alone like when he's old and he doesn't have any kids to look after him who's gonna throw bread to him a single sad lonely swan but you know I've got faith that Egbert's gonna find a soulmate tonight and it is night time which is why the stars are out If only I had a white pencil. Here we go. I'll just use this one. I know this is not in the in the set. It's um someone called me. I can't remember who it was. Was it Artie? 
someone told me that a water soluble um, pencil won't be as strong as a normal pencil because it is water soluble like as strong of a white but that seems like that's all I have all these are grey in here I really need more white pencils guys pretty shy swan I know well you know he's had a lot of heartache and he just he just doesn't want to be hurt again Tragic story, he'll find love. I think he will. I'm not sure about his bow tie though. I don't really think it goes with his complexion. Also, I'm sorry that I keep going off screen. I set the camera up earlier and when I say I, I meant Martin. Did you find the Posca white? I didn't, I didn't find it. I've lost all of my whites. I literally have no idea where any of them are. The only whites I now have are the these these water solubles. Um, I've lost my Posca. I've lost my my Derwent drawing pencil. I've lost my Caran d'Ache luminance. I don't know if I ever had a Tombow, but if so, I've lost that one. I've lost the Faber Castell Polychromos. All of them. They've all gone. I don't know where. It's like there's a thief around here who's just stealing white pencils so weird all right cool so this is Egbert I think I'm just gonna do a real simple one for Egbert should he have a little heart above his head like he's looking for love I just don't know about this this um thing I don't like it and you know what I've done and it actually is it actually works quite well is I've just erased it if only I knew what my eraser was oh why is why did no one come and clean my desk for me today why is this up to me every day I'm looking in my pencil cup as if there's gonna be an eraser in there the annoying thing is I know I've seen one is it in here? No. I remember seeing it in a pencil case. But I've emptied all my pencil cases recently. So I don't know where it would be. It's very annoying. I have to use this. Yeah, it seems to work quite well just erasing the neo colours. Because they kind of just slide off the page. still wear a bow tie but I think it should be blue are we thinking blue do you think blue is a good color I know it's kind of like white like he's already white and then you have this blue doesn't really stand out This is why some of these take a while because I do one stupid thing like this. Now I'm like, wait a minute, I like the red one better. <laughs> Just make it like a bigger mess. All right, let's put some little feathers on him. And we're just gonna call this one a day. There's gonna be the, another, it's another warm up doodle. Um, no, let's do something fun in the background. What what should we do for the... Let's do something fun with the frame. I think this means we need to sharpen a neo color again. I definitely need to do something with these neo color shavings. Because they're going to pile up. I mean, it doesn't matter if they pile up, I guess. As long as they don't overflow.
Can anyone hear the music, by the way? I have it on pretty low tonight. A teal bow tie. I could do a teal. I don't have a teal colour, though, is a problem. This is where I sometimes I think, um, I, why did I give myself a colour? Like, why, why am I giving myself a colour? Um, what's the word? Like, palette? But I need to learn how to use limited colours. Because that is one thing that I definitely am not good at. I just love using all the colours. Yeah, this bow tie hasn't gone. Also, the, the problem also is, um that these doodles are so small it's really hard to get detail on them i think that's fine it's just a little silly doodle isn't it let's just fix up this a little bit Egbert, you're ready for your big night. Um, I'm just thinking, need something in the, need something here, you know, like um, something in the background, like a flowers, like trees or something. Um, he's lovely. Nice. And hey B and hey Andra. Andra Marie. I hear the music a little. Okay. It's fine. Um, I don't want it to be, it's not like, it's basically just that I don't have silence. I think we've already had this discussion before where I tried that one time to have no music and it freaked me out and I couldn't do it. <laughs> so even if like you guys can't hear the music, I can. This makes me a little bit more at ease, I guess. Just very silly, I know. But that's just what I am. Very silly. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to finish this now. And that's another silly little doodle. For a silly little challenge. Does it even count as the 100 day challenge if you're doing 17 of them in a row? Riddle me this. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay, it's finished. Egbert is done. What's this challenge? This is the 100 day project. It started about um, maybe 30 days ago, maybe 35. I'm definitely behind. I'm behind by about 17 days. But we're catching up one thing at a time. I think for this one, I want to do a non animal. I think maybe a little cactus. What do you guys think? Just gonna do a silly little cactus. And we're gonna try and make the frame really good because we haven't done a good frame. Let's try and make this frame. I don't know what this is, what this, but let's let's try and make it this. Whatever this means to you, that's what we're gonna try and do. I'm doing a hundred day challenge, but not a hundred days, a hundred pieces. I was taking however long it takes. That sounds very much doable than this. 100 pieces of what? What are you making? Okay, I'm just going to draw. 
a cactus, like just a normal cactus, not one of the ones with the arms. I'm actually going to draw my cactus. He's called the Texan. And um, look, I'm going to draw him from memory. He's actually a lot taller than this now. Um, he's a lot taller than this. He's almost fallen out of his pot. I actually need to get him a new pot. Let's see what this does on top. I feel like it isn't as bright as I want it to be. Yeah, so what I was saying is I'll draw him from memory and then I'll show him to you and you can be like, whoa, April, spot on, you did it. Small landscape sketches in watercolour. That sounds so nice. How small are they? Oh, look. How small are they? Couldn't speak then for a second. They're like five inches, six inches. I remember when I did my very first bird, was it bird fest or no, it was the 100 day challenge. And I did something similar to this. I'll buy a cow, heaps of pictures. Um, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna make him gold, by the way. Just just in case you're wondering what I'm doing now. I just felt like making him shiny. He isn't shiny in real life, but he deserves to be shiny. That's how special he is. I made um little squares. I think they were all ten by ten inches. And that was quite that was quite a good size. It's like not so small that the de it's really hard to do detail, but not too big that it takes you forever to make. All right, now he needs a little pot. His pot actually is a boot, but we're not gonna do boot. We'll just do a little pot. And I do have another cactus called um, Felix. And Martin does not like Felix at all. Sometimes actually I don't like Felix because Felix is one of those plants, the cactuses, the cacti that have the very, 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 very thin spikes, but like they're furry. And when you touch him, if you go near him, you'll get you'll get a, a fist full of spikes. Like they'll be stuck all in you. And even when you don't touch him, if you go kind of near that general area, sometimes the, they'll get in your clothes, they'll get on your skin. I've had one like near my lips before, like in my face. They're horrible, horrible to get out. Three to four inches, that's so small. I made a scrap paper sketchbook and I'm using that. That sounds so fun. Um, Sonia, hi Sonia. Just got up, good morning. Um, first time I caught a live stream. Welcome to the stream. Very excited. Love Mike and Talker and all the creators creators here. Guys, it's with quotation marks. I'm always I'm always concerned when people use quotation marks. Someone at work yesterday asked me if I could tell them all the hours I've worked on a project because I needed to figure out all the time I'd spent on this project. But what they said to me is, can you tell me the time you actually worked on this project? To which I thought in my head, Wait, does she think I've been lying about working on this project? <laughs> but don't worry, I know you didn't mean it like that. I just, I find it funny sometimes when people say things, um, say things like in a certain way. Okay, what am I doing? Um, let's do the frame while I wait for the inside bit to dry. So I want to do this triangles, I'm thinking. I did something very similar. Yeah, I'm just looking at it now. I did something very similar in like my very first one and it was really fun. I did squares like this and then I made triangles and then I colored some of them in and I colored some of them not in, if that makes any sense. I feel like I'm in romper room, waving back in romper room. I don't know what that is. Is that a TV show? Sonia, whereabouts are you from? If you just wake up, what time is it where you are? All right, so, um, yes, this is what I did. I put like X's through them all. Just literally copying myself because I have no imagination right now. These one, this one turned out really fun though. 
Can you see this? I don't know if I'm off screen or not. Oh, Melbourne, nice. 7 a.m. It's cool. I just woke up too. Oh, hi, hi, Bunny. I feel like you were just here, weren't you? Oh, no, that's someone else. Two people with the word bun in the name. That's cute. We should draw a bunny. I don't think I've drawn a bunny yet. The only problem with these frames, they take forever. So, Egbert, good old Egbert, I think Artie said he took 12 minutes and he didn't even have a frame and that was a swan. But yeah, this is gonna be my cactus, um, the Texan. And you'll see why he's called the Texan in a minute. But uh, guys, do you name your plants and also plants tell me about them talk to me about plants uh i just got this game on the switch today and i played it for like 10 minutes while i was making dinner maybe 20 minutes but the graphics are really bad on the switch it's called a garden life no it's called garden life a cozy simulator i think and basically you have a garden like a community garden in a little village and you have to make it nice you have to fix things up plant things and like you learn how to take care of the plants and it uses things that real life people do for their plants so i was like maybe i can learn something but it's been on pc right so maybe some of you guys have played it on pc and the graphics look so nice on pc and i spent quite a lot of money on this stupid game and the graphics are so shit. I told myself April, I told myself this last week and the, two, the week before that when I found out this game was coming to Switch, I said April, um, don't buy the game, okay? Wait at least a couple of weeks and see what people are saying about the game. <laughs> I did not wait a week. I did not even wait a day. I just bought it today. And the graphics are so bad because it's like a PC game that they're trying to run on a Switch. I really have only myself to blame. Um, I saw that name. I'm the other bun. It's 6 a.m. here. I'm half awake. Don't we? I'm, you know, it's 8 p.m. here and I'm half awake too, so we're in the same boat. Try to keep my plants alive, but they never last long. Yeah, I, I think I'm kind of, I've been lucky with my plants. I've only killed a couple of them. One of them was goat. I don't know if you guys remember goat. He was my plant. I loved him so much. He was my, what was he? Um, prayer plant and look he, he he was never gonna make it he grew out of the pot instead of growing up he grew downwards so he was always hanging off the shelf by literally a thread and i tried to take cuttings from him i tried to make mini little goat like you know goat the second but it never worked they always died and eventually goat he just shriveled up i just didn't know how to save him I've heard that prayer plants, I don't know if prayer plants are easy to take care of, but I was speaking to someone at work and they were saying that they can never, I think it was someone at work, it was someone anyway, on the internet, um, and they were saying their prayer plant never, like they can never keep their prayer plant alive either. So, I don't know if it's just us, or if it is a hard plant to keep alive, but that made me really sad because I loved goat. It's one of my stickers. I can't barely even see your sticker. It's like so tiny. I think it's the little bunny, right? So you see how long this is gonna take? I haven't even done one side yet. But yeah, has anyone, has it, does anyone play Switch or is playing right now and wants to talk about games? because I've been going into a gaming phase where I just want to play games, but I haven't found a game that I've wanted to play. I've, I've been trying games for the last week, two weeks, and I haven't found one that I just really want to get into. And I want to play it on the Switch, because obviously I can play on the place, on the PC, but um, 
I just want to play something that I can just play in bed or on the couch, something I can just pick up like 15, 20 minutes when I have time. And I think Stardew Valley is coming up with an update soon for PC, but I won't be on Switch for a while. And I can't be bothered to play Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing again. Like I don't want to make a new world. So I've been looking for a game. Right, I was playing Gravekeeper. If anyone's ever heard of that. It's like Stardew Valley, but you're in charge of a graveyard. So that one's been okay. We have a Switch, but I want a Switch Lite. A game by Moomin just came out. Yeah, I saw that actually. It looks really fun. Like the style of it looks really cool, but I have, I have, don't know anything about Moomin. I've never seen a TV show. Is there, are they a TV show or are they a book? I know they're, they are a character, but that's all I know about them. I guess you wouldn't have to know about them though just to play the game, right? Someone keeps buzzing my, my watch. Someone's leaving me feedback on my Etsy shop. Should we have a look? I always worry when I get feedback. Should we look live right now? I'm always panic when someone leaves me feedback on Etsy just in case it's bad. Here we go. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's five stars. Very happy with colourful and quirky postcards. They're like little bursts of joy. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Um, I got a... I got a, a review on Etsy about two weeks ago that made me a bit sad. They gave me a, I think they gave me a two star or a three star. I think it might have been a three star review. And they said that they were disappointed with the quality and the content of my zine. And I was like, that's, that's sad. Sorry to hear that. I mean, I didn't actually write that. I just thought that in my head. And then I thought, that's sad for me. <laughs> because I don't want a three star review. You've hurt my feelings. <laughs> but that's the only, I think I've only ever got in five star reviews on my Etsy shop since I opened. So can't really complain with that. Even a couple of times I've had packages that have like been lost or that have taken ages to arrive. But I still haven't had a bad review from those, so. Does anyone else get freaked out when their shop gets a, when you get like a message or something? I always worry when I get a message or when I get a review. Like if I, if it's like, you have a new message, I always think it's going to be something's lost. Or if it's um, a review, I always think it's going to be bad. I guess that's normal, right? I think I've heard of that game, there's one of a witch apprentice that's similar. I think it's a show? I don't know a whole lot about it, but I think you can still play it. But yeah, probably. I think it's probably set up that it's like even casual people, like casual gamers can just pick it up. I'm probably not allowed to buy any more games now because I've already bought that garden game today, which I might put on the telly and see if the graphics are better on a bigger screen. Um, what they're crazy. I think your zine is amazing. I, I gave you five stars. Thank you. I remember you did. That was, I think that arrived pretty fast, right? To Australia. I only worry on Etsy, not my website. The customers can be really picky on Etsy. Yeah, I think sometimes because they find you, they don't actually know you. They don't know like you or your art or anything and they just because you can use it like a search engine also trace memory is out on switch trace memory oh i haven't heard that one i played the original on my ds and loved it trace memory hmm what's that about that sounds interesting sounds like a puzzle game oh guys this is why I haven't done this pattern because it takes so long. 
Almost there. Almost there. Oh, guys, can I tell you something? I'm really excited. I finished my crochet blanket today. Well, almost. I need to sew in the ends. I think I have like maybe six ends to sew in. But I finished my crochet blanket. I've been working on it for so long. I've been working on it for about, I want to say like five months. Not all at the same time. Like I've taken breaks from it. But I had to make nine, 99 squares. And then I had to join them all and then do the border. I did a join as you go method though, which was super cool. Fun to learn. But I'm so excited. And that also means I can finish my crochet vlog because I've been making this crochet vlog part two since I want to say October. <laughs> I think the first thing I did was for Halloween. So yeah, it's October. Oh, this is amazing. Look, I actually did it. No, I didn't do that right. I was going to say I did it so like the things are the same, but they're not. Like they don't match, but I'm just going to do a little fake thing here. Ta-da! Oh, I was going to spin that around like in celebration. Ta-da! It looks like Pickle Rick. Almost. I haven't, I haven't done anything to him yet. It's not Pickle Rick. I also don't like this. I don't like this colour. Okay, sometimes it's, sometimes, sometimes you can mess things up by raisin. Let's make it dark grey. Um, I received my order today. Love the zine and stickers. Yay, Lauren. Lauren, where, where are you in the UK? I think, I think, I think I had two orders that were going to the UK that I sent the other day. I'm going to make this pot a little bit more exciting because right now it's just like this grey square. But I just didn't like that light peach whatever colour that was I chose. Even the thought of it now disgusts me. We're going to put some blue on there. It's like little stripes. There we go. Perfect. Essex. I haven't ever been to Essex tonight. All right, now we can do the Texan's face. I think I'm going to give him, because he's a cactus, so he's kind of like shifty. I think he's going to have shifty eyes. I have a couple of ways of doing eyes. I say I have three main ways of doing eyes. I was thinking about this the other day, actually. I, I'm, it's not just on the top of my head. I was, I was thinking about this the other day. So I have like three main ways that I do eyes. Actually, I have four main ways. There's quite a lot of ways, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, I'm drawing circles. Here we go. Okay, so first way, my favourite. <laughs> the shifty eye is my favourite, obviously. Second, second favourite, the closed eye. The sleepy eye. The third is the cute, crazy eye. I mean, these are all very, like, cli not, not, uh, not cliche, but common, right? Like, a lot... And then obviously you just have the dot eye. What one do you like better? Also, I have two main ways I do noses. I was just thinking about this the other day. So uh, this 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 one here. There's the long, the snake, and then oh I guess the what can you call the gherkin. And then there's the um I don't know what to call this one. What should we call this one? Like the the brick. And then the cheeks. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't think I, I'm not like breaking any, um, you know, creativity awards. I'm not going to be like winning anything for outstanding character design. But um, I just find it interesting, like when you think about kind of what you do. And so when I do the characters, I'm always like, what I should, like, what should I do, you know? Katie's getting sleepy. Night, Katie. Thanks so much for popping in. Have a nice day tomorrow. Where are you heading? If you're still here, where are you heading tomorrow? Ah, let me get some water. Can I also share with you? Um, I'm going to do it anyway. 
a intrusive thought that I have often when I when I drink out of this glass. I never drink out of this glass, but there was nothing clean, so I had to pick this glass. It's like really thin. It's got this really thin glass, and I I'm scared sometimes when I drink out of this glass because every time I do, I there's a small in my head and it says just bite the glass, April. Like how easy would it be to break it because it's so thin. <laughs> I won't do it, but I mean, there's a little part of me that thinks maybe one day I will do it. Exploring Inverness. Have a nice day in Inverness. Drive safe. All right, so back to the Texan. My, I really need to sh keep these sharp. All right, I haven't done a very good job there with the white. Um, I want nice pink for the cheeks. The Texan is quite a nice cactus. He's not evil like Felix is. Felix is very evil. Kind of just see his cheeks there. And let's give him a little under eye, like a little, should I zoom so you can see a bit better? Zoom. I was gonna say, let's give him like a little shadow under the eye sometimes this is fun to do just make them look like a little sleepy oh <laughs> brush too hard <gasps> oh it's funny all right and some eyebrows and should, should he have a mouth do cactuses even have mouths i mean i guess this one has a nose and eyes so I guess he, he may have a mouth I just want to make this this lighter but actually impossible I think you'll have a little mouth like a little smiley mouth yeah perfect all right and now he just needs some spikes and I'll get him now for you and you can tell me how good of a job I did. You, I think you'll be like, whoa, what's the difference? I can't even tell the difference between the pitcher and the plant. Like, you did such a good job. Um, like, that's just what you're going to feel like, I think. Okay. Felix. No. Sorry. The Texan. Let's put some bright, bright green on. Just for fun. I don't know if that really worked. Sometimes I think these things are gonna work, but they don't go with the ink, you know? Like they don't, they don't interact well with the background color. I'm trying to, I think the main thing here on these little characters is like contrast is probably the most important thing to try and get. Cause they're so small, like you can't really put much detail in them. Okay. Here we go. I never use yellow either. Brighten it up a little bit. And maybe at the bottom, he's like a little bit darker. This is like a shadow. And at the top, he's a little bit lighter because the sun science ta-da all right let's let me go get the text the texan for you
Okay, I did forget something quite crucial. I don't know if I can fix it. Um, here we go. You ready? Ta-da! Wait, where's my face? <laughs> this is why he's called the Texan, because he's in a boot that I got from Texas. No, this isn't a plant pot. I honestly have no idea how he's surviving. I'm pretty sure there's a spider in there that's made his nest. Let me get my phone quickly. No, it's not. It's just some cobwebs. So literally, it's just dirt in there. There's no drainage, nothing. And he shot up. He was this big when I got him. Like, he was tiny. He just poked his little head out. Like, it's kind of hard to tell, but like this. And now look how big he is. So I definitely want... Ow! Ow! I want to get him a new pot. <laughs> um, I'm just going to pop him here for now. Don't fall over, mister. Yeah, I definitely forgot a couple of bits. We need to do these lines. Like this. Okay. Basically like this. Kind of like this. I mean, it's fine. It's just a little character. The Texan! Um, I'm cracking up laughing here so early in the morning. I'm I'm glad, Bunny. Um, hi, hey, Hannah. He grew a lot, I know, he did. He shot right up, didn't he? I've had this since, I want to say, 2017. 2017, I think, is when I went to Texas. I had to go there for work. I can probably even find out, actually. Get in my Google Photos. Do you guys ever do this? You can search in your Google Photos. So easy. So um to do anything. It's like so easy to do anything. So easy to find anything is what I meant to say. If I just literally type in Texas, it will tell me. Te if I can spell Texas right. Um, <laughs> is it an X or a Z? Here we go, Texas. So oh geez, April two thousand twenty. No, I can't be right. Oh no, it thinks I'm in Texas. I was in South Africa. Okay, 2000, yeah, here we go. Look, this is Dallas, Texas. Is anyone here from the US? Um, that was 2017, just like I said. These were all the sweeties I got on the way home. Sorry, candy. Got my um candy corn. I'm from the US, Colorado. We have two feet of snow, oof. Um, Lisa, hi Lisa. First time able to join a live from Arizona on lunch break. So just a quick hello, catch the rest in the replay. Nice. What are you having for lunch? Anything nice? This is why I don't like to use these erasers. They're absolutely rubbish. Okay, what should we do next? Shall we do goat? That could be fun. Crab, pug. Oh, capybara. Let's do capybara. What's the time? 20.33. I think this will probably be the last one. I know I haven't done 17, but it's my first stream back in like so long. So, okay, let's draw a capybara because I don't actually know how to draw them. I'm pretty sure from memory, they're like this, right? <laughs> I don't know what they look like. Um, I'm gonna draw a capybara from memory and then we're gonna we're gonna look online to see like what a capybara looks like because I'm pretty sure this is not it I'm pretty sure this is not what a, what they look like I know they have like a really weird not really weird I mean I'm sorry if there's any capybaras watching I mean no offense it's, you're not weird you don't have a weird head okay but they they have like a very this looks like a little bear again but look, they're, they're like this, aren't they? This is like a fun... Uh, <laughs> this is a fun draw from memory exercise. I'm trying to like picture... Um, I know that Jess was here, has drawn a lot of capybaras. I'm pretty sure I even have a t-shirt with a capybara on. Okay, here we go. I'll try again. i try again. Um, this is the little tail. <laughs> um... Okay, look, this is a hippopotamus, so I don't even, this is like a little pig. Um, <laughs> okay, I don't know what a capybara looks like. Let's have a look. We're going to find out together. I bet you guys all know what a capybara looks like. I bet you're all just laughing at me right now. 
Capybara. I think I've even drawn these before, maybe. I was so close. Like, literally, look how close I was. Like, this one here? Basically, it's this. Basically, I just drew this. Okay, so the thing I had wrong is the nose placement. So, it actually goes like... I knew they have a square little head. Like this. And I knew they had little ears as well. But it was just the nose placement, like the nose has is like here. Like this. Like that's basically it. Okay. See, I wasn't too far off. I mean that's that's pretty far off. Alright, a capybara librarian. So capybaras remind me of dinosaurs because of their feet. What's up, what's up with their feet then? Oh, like these guys? Like these little feet here? They're kind of cute. They look like this. Um, all right, so capybara librarian. So as a capybara, he's a librarian. Obviously librarians are all very intelligent. What's the sign of intelligence? Glasses. That's why I wear mine. Um, these don't even have glass in them. I just like the frames. They just make me look smart. So obviously we're going to need maybe big glasses because obviously everyone knows the bigger the glasses, the smarter the person, which is actually why when I get my new frames, I'm going to get bigger frames because I know that I look smart now, but I could look so much smarter. So we have the smartness of the librarian. You guys can't even see that. Uh, what else is a librarian? A librarian's always like, shh, please, people are studying here. So... Maybe they would look a little bit stern. I don't think so. I think this librarian's happy. I think they're happy because their favorite new book just came in that they've wanted forever. And because they're a librarian, they can like reserve it before anyone else can reserve it. So even if like people are in the waiting list, like they're queuing outside the library waiting to get this book, the librarian's like, I'm sorry, it's actually not available right now because someone's reserved it. Not telling everyone that it was actually them that reserved it. How do I come up with these amazing stories, you ask? Funny story, I actually used to work in a library. <laughs> I, I did, I did, I'm not even joking. I worked in a student library when I was a student. And I used to take the books out that I wanted. And I would have unlimited renewals on them. And I would take all of my fines off. And it was fantastic. That's what a nerd I am. Like the most exciting thing to ever happen to me was the fact that I could take a book out for an unlimited amount of time and not get a fine. When I say it out loud, I do kind of feel sorry for myself. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, so not this, cause this is, I don't like this. We need to think of some way, cause I only like, like to show the, um, the head. So like, if we do this square here, it's gonna be in a square like this and I really love this little librarian I think they're really cute so we're gonna try and keep that shape um like this maybe they don't even need a book maybe just the glasses will show how intelligent they are and also maybe they don't need the square no I think they need I think they need the square but I think it needs to be more like this like that what do you think I don't know if I like that maybe like this that looks like a bear now see see what the difference just changing the nose does because if you look at the capybara here actually his nose is like this it's like a line see you guys learning every day Maybe he's a sleepy librarian. I 
I think I like to like this one the best. I'm not sure though because do they have a nose like that? Getting the nose is very important, especially when you're like stylizing something. But look, this definitely does have the two little nostrils here. But they're like this. Like that. I still think this one is the best here. This one's pretty cute though, with this little piggy nose. Oh, you guys can't see it, sorry. Um, imagine if I just had that off screen, I was like, yeah, that's the perfect one. It's the best, just trust me. It looks exactly like a capybara. <laughs> This, one here. <laughs> this one's so cute too all right i like this one actually well, guys what one okay one two or three what one do you like best for like the face shape and then i figure out so maybe we can try and put a book in there somewhere i think he's probably going to be reading fourth wing also can i ask um the audience um, fourth wing. Has anyone read it? Okay, we got a three, a three, a three, a one, a three, a three. Okay, I think three definitely wins. All right, and now fourth wing, guys. Has anyone read fourth wing? And because I read it like two weeks ago, I read it in three days. It was so good. It was like, I mean. If, if anyone's read it, it's like it's, it's like junk food for books, right? But it was so good. I read it and I was very happy with myself after I finished it. I was like, yes, good job done, April. And I immediately put the second one on reserve at the library because I don't buy books. I try and get them from the library because I, I, I like to read um, quite a bit. Well, I'm trying to read quite a bit. When I get in the zone, I can read a lot. So, um, it's expensive to buy books. Like, you know, I can't afford to buy books. So I've been, I've been getting them from the library and it's a great system. You know, you just order the book you want. You have to wait for it to come if other people are reading it, but then it comes and you read it and it's, you know, whatever. Um, and you don't have to pay for it. It's great. Sometimes it does have food stains. Like some people are like to very messy with books, I think. But if you can get past that, it's fine sometimes you're the one leaving the food stains too so it's kind of like you're almost getting your own back on the library itself but i wouldn't advise to do that because it's that's not very nice i try not to um what was i saying oh yeah fourth wing so i got the second one which is iron flame and it's not as good it's kind of it's not boring but i'm like it's not as good you know so i was just curious if other people have read it maybe to see if it gets better or not i think the first book of something like that is always going to be good so um vanessa was asking what's it what's it about i don't want to give away too much of like spoilers or anything but the general story plot is it's about a school for dragon riders so like a, a school where they go to learn how to ride dragons and it's quite a dangerous task to do to ride dragons dragons are kind of like wild animals um they can turn on you and it's kind of dangerous even just to get like to the riding of the dragon they have to go through all these different obstacles and stuff um Oh, was I drawing? Oh yeah, Canberra. Kind of but yeah, it's really fun. I'm really, I'm, I like, I'm in, I enjoyed it a lot. So, so then I got the fourth, the second book, but it's not as good. But yeah, so the second book came. I, I got halfway through. I, I got halfway through a different book. The second book came. So I went to the library and I stopped reading. I stopped reading book number two, so I could read book number one again. Okay, I'm not making any sense. Right, so. I ordered a book from the library, Iron Flame. That was book number one. I got halfway through it. No, okay. While I was waiting for that book to come, <laughs> this is so boring. But basically, 
I, I'm reading three books right now and they're all in different because I had to read one but then I wanted to read the sequel to that so I got half by it and then I went to London so I couldn't take that big book and then I was on the train on the way home so I had to buy another book so I could read it on the <sighs> I bored myself with that story as I was telling it <laughs> do you guys ever do do you ever get halfway through a story and you're like damn this is boring story I want to get really big glasses on this guy because I think those glasses are so fun. The pro this is the problem with doodling. So sometimes a doodle comes out so much better than like when you try and make it. Like this here doesn't have the same charm as this. Doesn't have the same charm. I did this so quickly I wasn't even thinking. But now I'm trying to copy this and now I'm like how do I draw? I don't even know how to draw. Like how do I draw? I think people often have this problem. All right, let's do huge glasses. Oh damn. Oh damn, we're gonna go off the page. See, I don't, I'm not in love with this anymore. I don't like this anymore. You can't do anything about it now. I'm so funny, thanks Lisa. I try, I do try. Um. Where's that eraser gone that I had? It's a pretty bad eraser, but maybe, maybe I can, because it's just not as fat as I want it to be. And that is not a sentence you hear me say often. This one here, okay. Comes in at an angle. There we go. That's a little bit better. A little bit better, but still not as cute as the doodle. I just wish that everything could be so effortless as as a sketch for a sketch like the pre doodle doodle is so easy to do and you don't even think about it like you're not even thinking about it and as soon as you start thinking about something that's when things go wrong and is the lesson that we need to take away from this just don't think because I don't think that's the solution either Right, I'm gonna color this capybara in pink even though the pink on the neon pink looks like this weird beige color if you put anything up against neon it's gonna look weird like in comparison it's not gonna look as bright I think neon must be in right now though because uh, when I went to visit Artie in London, we went to this art fair. I can't remember the name of it. I think the art fair was something like Art Fair Extraordinaire or something like that. Or the London Art Fair for Artists. I can't remember the exact name, but basically it was just about... It just had lots of art walls and you walked around and you looked at the different art. And people were selling their art and stuff. And there were so many neons there like people that had used neons in their artwork i think maybe it must be like soup is it in fashion or has it always been in fashion anyway this will be the last one i do i think um and then we'll have a look at what we've done i think so far we've done four i think this will be the fourth one so really we haven't done that much I mean, I did three the other night in half an hour. The other art fair. See, I was thinking about the other one, Artie, not that one. Yeah, I mean, I think I was just busting those three out the other night. Also because they're very easy. It was a sun and a moon and then a little cat, which I'd already drawn. But it was fun drawing these um these tonight. I'll I'll have I have this list on my other page of suggestions, so I'll definitely use those. I still have sheep, goat, crab, pug, 
snail, swan, oh, I've done swan, lima, and armadillo. Now, they're only gonna be like probably the head and shoulders, kind of what I've been doing. But I'll try and I'll try and do something with that list. So guys, if you have any more ideas for me before we go, let me know. And I'll add them to the list and I'll try and do them. And I'll, I'll just post them to my stories over the next few days on Instagram. Aw, I think this capybara has turned out really cute, actually. I know I was I was a little bit mean, mean towards myself at the start. But I think he's turned out okay. He definitely needs some fur. What list? Oh, I have a list just on my other page. Just over here. These are ideas that people were saying to draw. So basically I've got I've got to do still like 15 of this to catch up with the challenge. So far I've done these three. So if you guys can think of anything else you want, you want to see drawn. Um also people too. Like you can say, oops. Like I've done a I've done a, a wizard. I did a little kind of schoolgirl. I did I think that's the only people I've done actually. I did like a little guy dressed up in a bear costume. All right, where was I? Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave the background bright pink because that's kind of fun. But um, the outside frame, what color do you think we should do the outside frame? I'm thinking blue. like a light blue like this but maybe we could alternate it with a darker color maybe we could do stripes Artie says green green could also work I think we should do stripes or something what do you guys think stripes are pretty easy to do as well Turquoise, and I have turquoise. I'm only using the colours that I have been using for the challenge, which I'll show you. I don't actually have many colours, guys, to choose from, which is, I kind of wanted to do that so all of the things would look the same. And a lot of the colours I haven't even been using. Like, I haven't been using the yellow. I haven't really been using dark blues. I haven't really been using the yellows at all. But these are the colours, so kind of. I just showed these at the start, but like there's some greens, lots of greens and pinks, um, a couple of light blues, a couple of yellows, and like a red. Oh, I haven't used the red actually. I've already done green now, but we'll use I'll use red for the next one. Have you tried drawing kangaroos or koalas? I find them super hard to draw and look good. They always look derpy when I don't want them to. I have drawn a kangaroo once before. I never posted it to um, Instagram. I only posted it to Patreon. So let me see, kangaroo. I'll see if my um, Google Photos can find it. It did, it did. This is the kangaroo. Oh, it's not actually finished. This kangaroo isn't finished. I finished it on Procreate, but this is the kangaroo that I drew. <laughs> It's a kangaroo. It was like a kangaroo monster, but like skating. So not really a kangaroo. Also, Google thought this was a kangaroo. It's a pair of lions. So he's not perfect. I have never drawn a koala though. Koala could be fun to draw. All right, koala down. I mean, they're only gonna be like kind of simple characters, you know? So like if you saw this, you probably wouldn't think it was a capybara. I don't know, maybe you would. I don't think I would think it was a capybara if I saw it, if I hadn't drawn it.
the whole point of this 100 day thing was just to like try and do more characters like little characters and to try and do stuff without um thinking too much so kind of it was meant to be like a warm-up so i would do it in the morning for like 10 minutes but as you can see sometimes they take a little bit longer than 10 minutes i think i want to do triangles like i think i want to do triangles like this And then I will draw the inner triangles and then I think I'll leave the outer triangles as pink. I think that could be nice. And that's it. Then I'm going to be finished. So tell me what you guys are doing at the weekend. Anything fun? This weekend I need to have a bit of a catching up weekend actually. Just because I've been so busy. The last two weekends I was doing stuff with other people. Like I was in London and then the weekend before that my sister came to visit so i haven't actually i'm really behind on some of the projects i'm working on um so one of them i'm doing like this children's book for someone it's for a self-published author and i'm on the sketch phase right now i need to make some amends on the sketches and then i can go ahead and start the coloring um so that's one thing that i'm really behind on i also have like so many youtube videos that are 70% done but I think apart from the sketches for that book I mentioned I just want to work on my Etsy shop this weekend I'm not gonna go for a walk <laughs> unless the weather's nice I don't think it's gonna be nice I'm pretty sure it's gonna be rainy so I think I'll be fine with that one a panda yes panda's such a cute idea I have drawn a bear but I love bears so have you draw a panda This glass, the glasses have gone over the frame, but I think it's fine. Because it's like, they're see-through, you know? <clears throat> but you know, one thing I'm... I'm gonna try not to do for a little bit is uh, crochet which is gonna be hard but I think I need to like have take a break for crochet for a couple of weeks just because when I'm doing a project I will just do that instead of doing other stuff like things that I need to work on so it became from using that as a, like a way to relax to a way to procrastinate and I don't want it to become like this this thing like this Thing that's kind of like a little bit toxic like it's taking up all my time just because it's easy to do but I think about this one I'm not sure about like this the corner maybe I can make that into a triangle that's cool also Marsha and I are gonna start the alien film series this week this weekend we're gonna start with Prometheus and then we're gonna do the sequel to Prometheus which I'm pretty sure was Alien First Contact I think and then we're gonna watch the original Alien, Alien 2, Alien 3. So yeah that's our plans for the weekend. <laughs> Very exciting I know. Let's give this guy a little bit of a shine under his glasses just to kind of like help pop them out. And let's give him a little shadow under his eyes and you put a little bit of red there like this and then just go back in with the colour pencil and kind of blend it in. 
That's kind of fun. Ta-da! It's a very simple one, but I kind of like this one. Do you think we should colour the background in from being bright pink to being something else? Or do you think we should go in here with this yellow crayon and kind of tone this down a bit? I think that, that works. I'm getting really hot in here now. I think it's because I'm a bit tired. And I haven't drank much today. So yeah, I'll try and be back next week. We'll try and do something different, not this. I don't know what we'll do. Try and do something fun though. I want to start drawing landscapes again. I haven't drawn landscapes for so long, I've almost forgotten how to draw them. That's something I would like to do. It's just hard when you only have a little bit of time in the day to draw. And you have to kind of like pick what's the most important thing to draw. Alright, I think we're done guys. I think this is my favourite one. He's so simple though. Okay, this is what we drew. So just in case you guys came a little bit later, I'll show you all the things we drew. We didn't draw much actually. We drew this little bear eating his ice cream. We drew Egbert the swan who's going off on a blind date. It's like a six blind date in a row. He hasn't been very lucky in love, but we think tonight he's going to meet his swan mate. We drew the Texan, my cactus, and Capybara who doesn't have a name. What should we name Capybara? And then just kind of like so you kind of can see the ones I've drawn over the last few days. These are like, these are the, all the ones I've drawn over the last few days. So, I've got a few to go guys. Um, I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And if I get an Instagram, I'll just see, I think I've been following someone who's doing it every day. So what did I say? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I've done 17, remember that? I'll tell you who I'm following. Um, someone I, I really love on Instagram called Marika Doodles and they've been doing this little mouse every day. It's so cute, so they're on 23. So I basically just been going by what they've been doing. So 23, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I need to do at least six more. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then I have them all in here. I'm gonna just grab a random one, six. So I need to do like all of these, plus another one for tomorrow. And I'm gonna try and do all of these between like tomorrow tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening and I might do this as like a little post tomorrow on Instagram do you know the capybara very cute um love them thanks Mandy cool guys um thanks for joining I'm actually just gonna quickly name um number these before we go so that's 14 this is 15 I'm trying to do this so I remember them all so because I know I'm definitely going to forget what order I did them in. Wait, was that 16? Wait, so I did count them wrong. So I've done, I've done 18. I thought I, I thought I counted 18 to begin with. All right. Nice. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And keep me company while I draw tonight. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a, a video out tomorrow. Maybe if I get time to do it. If not, there'll be out be one out next week on YouTube, I think. And I'll be back next week for live streaming on Thursday unless something comes up. So apart from then, have a lovely rest of your week and I will 
Um, I will see you on the internet. Bye.